Witness and AI learn how to play a classic Atari game called Breakout. The end result is absolutely jaw-dropping and it has changed AI forever. The goal is to move a paddle to bounce a ball off a wall of bricks. Each time the ball hits a brick, the brick disappears and the score goes up. The primary aim of this research was to try and develop a deep learning model that could achieve human level performance across a broad range of challenging tasks. Specifically for this model, it was designed to play Atari 2600 games directly from high dimensional sensory inputs which they use the pixels on the screen to improve its performance to human level or beyond those capabilities. Let me show you what happens. At 10 minutes, the AI tries to hit the ball back, but it's still super clumsy. At 120 minutes, the AI already plays like an expert way beyond human capability. An hour later, this is where the magic happens. At 240 minutes, it develops a completely new strategy that involves digging a hole on the side and breaking through that wall as the most effective way to beat this game. So not only did the deep learning model achieve superhuman performance in this particular game, but it was able to do the exact same thing in several other Atari 2600 games, demonstrating that it can find optimal strategies not for just one game, but for multiple games as long as you give it a very specific input and output. Why is this super important? Well, it's important, first of all, because this was created way back in 2014, 10 years ago. And secondly, this breakthrough is important because it shows that not only can we create something that can match human capabilities, but we can create something that can exceed that. Actually, full credit goes to Max Tegmark because I read his book called Life 3.0 and he describes it really well. He basically says that uh, when he was watching this in 2014, there was a human-like feature to this that he found extremely unsettling. It seemed like he was watching AI that had a goal and learned how to get better and better at achieving it, eventually outperforming its creators. Okay, I know this sounds kind of scary, but before we go all AI fear-mongering about what this can do and what the implications are, I just want to go into detail about some of the limitations of this particular model. So a similar example can be found in OpenAI's work when they tried to train an AI to play Dota 2. Significantly more complicated, but there's a paper that talks about this, and they said that they required 256 GPUs, NVIDIA Tesla P100s or V100s, working in parallel in order to train these models over a course of many weeks. In addition, this system was technically trained on thousands of years of gameplay. What can we learn from this? The first issue is that our current approach requires a large amount of computational resources in terms of GPU power. In my previous video, I talk about how Sora was built by 13 engineers, so this means that it remains just as true today as it did 10 years ago, in that we are restricted more so by the data and the model. Second, something interesting happens, which is if you move the paddle of breakout by just a couple of pixels, then the AI loses his mind completely and is back to square one. So this just means that it's not able to generalize well since it technically only knows the pixels on a screen and doesn't really know the premise of the actual game. And this is because we only give it an input of pixels, so it technically doesn't truly understand the game that it's playing. This leads me to my second limitation, which is even though it can specialize, it's still not able to generalize tasks as well as humans do. What does this tell us? These findings indicate that deep reinforcement learning can be a powerful tool for developing AI systems for not only human level decision making in complex environments, but also superhuman levels as well. However, we're currently at the stage where we have very specialized intelligence in certain areas, but the model needs to improve significantly if we want to move it to general intelligence. I suspect one of the issues is the input and output is super specific. Um, right now, we're trying to just let it maximize a score, and we also give it a very specific environment. And that's super important because we don't really understand how these AI models work. I have a lot of thoughts about how it could be potentially extremely dangerous if we give it a very general goal, such as like serve humanity or try to like do something very general. But uh, that is probably something we need to do to allow it to have more general intelligence. So the idea of general goals and changing input and output is outside the scope of this video. However, if you're interested in me making a video about making general intelligence using general goals, please comment below.